Hey, so what's going on guys? Make sure we drunk and reviews and welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since I actually unboxed and also reviewed an e-scooter. So big thanks to Starbucks for actually letting me have a review unit so that I can unbox and show you guys what comes in packaging. So the full review of this scooter will definitely be coming soon once I've done enough testing but today we'll be going through review the specs and also if there is any assembly needed. So you'll be receiving this box only if you purchase it via online. However, if you do pick this up from their showroom, they will have it all set up and ready to go. So this video is for you guys who have purchased this scooter online. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. Alright guys, so now that you have experienced the unboxing with me, it wasn't an easy task definitely. So let me show you what comes in the box itself. So we have the scooter, a manual on how to basically set up the scooter and get it running. So we also have a toolkit with the necessary tools, I believe the Allen key and so on and so forth. So you can get the handlebar fixed because you can see right there that the handlebar is actually not installed because of transportation and also the package size if they have the handlebar installed it'll be a very big box and last but not least we have this box right here with the charger for the scooter so that's about it that comes in the box now let's get the handlebar installed all right guys so in order to install the handlebar we do need to remove these four screws right here so in the tool kit as i showed you before there are a ton of stuff in here with wrenches and allen keys and sort of stuff like that so you can see there are a couple of sizes as well so you do need to pick the smaller one so the one i have right here i'm not sure what size this is but anyway this is the one that fits the four screws on the handlebar itself Let me go through with you the specs of this scooter. So this scooter is a single motor setup. So it has a motor at the rear end. So this motor is rated at 48 volts, 600 watts with a peak of 900 watts. It is also using a lithium battery with 48 volts and 13 amps hour. So you're not getting like top of the line specs because this is an entry level scooter. You also have a 10 inch tire, which is rare for this kind of price range and also for this kind of spec. So front, we have a twin suspension and rear double suspension suspension and this scooter weighs 24 kg so it wasn't an easy task actually getting it out of the box so it also has a max speed of 45 kilometers per hour of course that depends on what incline you're riding this scooter on going up a hill or down the hill so we do have a max distance of around 40 to 50 kilometers of course depends on body weight we have a foldable stem and a pretty nice and comfortable handlebar so on the front we have double LED headlights and the rear we have of course LED brake lights and on the side which is rare for this price range as well neon lights which is basically a light bar I should say on both the right and the left side of the deck so we do have a very nice and grippy rubber mat for the deck itself of course the, you have seen my previous videos like the Startron Mega the Sertron Demon and other models as well they just use like a rough sandpaper sort of material for the deck but uh, this is a full rubber mat which is actually a very nice touch in my opinion we also have double disc brakes of course these are not the hydraulic disc brakes these are the cable disc brakes so coming back to the deck 
This also features a super wide deck of 31 centimeters and it has a very nice and comfortable thumb throttle accelerator. So this has also an option to add a seat which I do not have. All right, so let me give you my thoughts on this scooter. On first impressions, I believe Starbucks has actually improved in the overall design department and the construction as well. Being one of the fans of their very first scooters, I believe that this is a really a big upgrade to compare even with my Startron Demon. This is a very, very big upgrade. It follows in the light of the Star Robin. And looking at the design and the fitment and everything about this scooter is that it is a step in the right direction definitely and uh, they have actually improved overall. Uh, the past years I've seen the scooters just keep on improving and I think at the price tag of 2899 ringgit, this is a very very worth it scooter and even if you compare this with the lower end offerings of Star Wars, I believe this is the best entry level pro scooter that you can buy for this price. So guys this completes my video if you're interested in this scooter I will definitely leave the link in the description below and if you have any thoughts you can just drop it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer you guys as soon as possible. So that's all for this video guys if you did like it do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one and I'll see you guys in the next video.